What form do you wish to receive your magical gift, my dear? A ring or a necklace? Hmm, I pick... Choose wisely, because once you put it on, you will not be allowed to take it off. I pick necklace. Excellent choice. Now the necklace will protect you wherever you go. Are you sure that necklace will keep her powers contained? Yes, your majesty. The necklace's power is quite strong. So are her father's genetics. She must never know of her aquatic origins. Her father, King Triton, is extremely dangerous. She is to never find out about him. Do you understand? Yes, your majesty. I shall watch over the princess and make sure she never learns the truth. Are you all finished getting ready? Yes, Martha. But remind me again why I'm only allowed to take five minute showers. I barely had enough time to wash my hair. I told you, too much water dries out your skin. Next you shall be telling me that if I take too long in the shower, I'll turn into a mermaid. <gasps> what? Who told you that? Relax, I was only kidding. First of all, did you know Jake and I used to date? No, I didn't know that. He's kind of secretive, and I'm pretty sure he's using you for clout. Look. You know that viral video he took of you singing? Read the caption he wrote about you. No, no, he wouldn't write that. That has to be a fraud account or something. Girly, it has the check mark right here, see? He's gaining so many followers from the live video of you singing that he reposted, and look, he's hearting comments that are making fun of your voice. People are following you as a joke. When you see Jake, can you tell him that I never want to speak to him again? I'll make sure he gets the message. Hey, Sydney, there you are. What? What's wrong? Come in. Sydney, can we please talk? And before you freak out, your dad let me up here. Why are you here? So you can make fun of my singing some more? No, Sydney, that mean caption about you? I didn't write that. Regina did. What? Yes, she hacked my account and she started writing mean captions about you and harding mean comments. I swear, I didn't. I gave her my password to my account when we were dating and I never changed it. Please, you have to know I would never want to hurt you. You did save my life when I had that allergic reaction and I don't think you would have done that if you didn't care about me. I do care about you. What's going on? I may have teamed up with Chad to get some revenge on Regina. Speak of the devil. Hello? Jake, why would you post a video of me plotting against Sydney? I lost over 2 million followers. So it looks like Sydney took your title of the most followed person in our school. No! I keep losing followers. You gotta help me. I don't know what to tell you, Chad. Chad, leave poor Cindy alone. Haven't you messed with her enough? The kiss was your idea, Regina. Was it? Of course not. Why would I want my boyfriend to kiss another girl? Chad, you and I are over. You know what? Forget you, Regina. You're gonna regret this. Okay, well that was awkward. Ugh, boys. I'm so happy you're okay though, Sydney. And congrats on all your new followers. Thanks. Well, I'm throwing a party at my place this Saturday, and I would love for you and Jake to come. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we'll think about going then. I gotta know, why would you kiss Chad? Honestly, I don't know, but don't worry, it will never happen again. Good. I mean, good for you. Are you gonna go to Regina's party? Eh, to be honest, I'll only go if you go. Well, I was thinking of going. Oh, in that case, guess I'll see you there. You made it! Oh, and you just keep gaining followers, too! Is Jake here yet? No, he's not here yet, but about him... Come with me, there's something I really need to show you. Babe, you sure you want me to kiss her? Yes, Chad, I told you. I'm going to be secretly recording the kiss. And once I upload it, everyone will think that she tried to steal you from me, and then she'll lose all her followers and be cancelled. Hey, can I, uh, can I kiss you? What? That's kind of random. I know, but, uh, come here, here's the thing. Let me tell you a secret. I haven't had my first kiss before, and I'd like to have it with you. Wait, but aren't you dating Regina? Nah, her and I aren't together anymore. So, what do you say? It's just one little kiss. I don't know. I saw the live of you singing. You've got a great voice, and some great lips, too. Were you wearing some sort of chapstick? Yes, yeah, this all-natural apple chapstick. You like it? Apple? But I'm allergic to apple. <laughs> Oh, dang. Okay, do you got like an EpiPen in your bag or something? Uh, man, I can't find it. I can't breathe. Hey, Sydney, are you okay? Sydney! Sydney, I didn't expect to see you back at school today. Yeah, the doctor said I was okay to come back, but for some reason I've been gaining thousands of followers every minute. Yeah, there's a viral video of you. Chad started recording you once you passed out. Wait, what? Uh-huh. Look, yo, guys, the chick I just kissed passed out, bro. We don't know what's going on, damn you. What the hell is wrong with you? Get away from her! So now everyone's kind of shipping you and me together, saying that I'm your hero and 
Sydney, please, you gotta help me. I keep losing followers. I can pick to hear my soulmate's thoughts or my soulmate's heart rate. Hun, hearing his thoughts could be distracting. You should go with heart rate. That's a much better option. Are you sure? Yes, then you can tell if he's in danger. Yeah, I guess that's true. Alright, I'll go with this one. Mom, I can hear his heartbeat right now. Does that mean that he's in danger? He could just be working out. Come to think of it, there's a lot of reasons his heart rate could be elevated. Once you two kiss, you won't have to hear his heartbeat anymore. Yeah, that's all great and dandy, Mom, except uh, I don't know how to find him. Yo, Bree, so would you be, like, down to go to the dance with me? It's okay if you're not interested, I understand. No, no, I am. It's just, um, are you kind of nervous right now? Uh, oh man, is it that obvious? Yeah, I mean, no, no, it's not, it's not. See you Saturday. Yes, totally. See you then. <laughs> I think he's my soulmate. Ow, it's so loud this time. Girl, I just saw the boy who asked you to go to the dance, and he was... Keep giving her a follow, guys. Everyone in the chat is saying hi. Guess what's on my FYP? Was it the live of me singing? Uh-huh, and honey, it's getting lots of likes. It almost has three million views. I know, it's pretty crazy. Yesterday I had four followers, now I almost have a million. Well, I guess that Influencer Academy is really paying off, huh? I saw your live. Can I have a photo? Yeah, sure. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Can I get one, too? No way, I was in line no, for- No, I was. Uh -uh. Oh no. Psst, follow me. This way. Okay, you should be safe from everyone over here. You're the one that recorded the live of me. You know what? I never got your name. Oh, right. My name's Jake. Jake Charming. Whoa, you have a lot of followers. <laughs> yeah, I just hit 8 million today, actually. I gotta go, but we should hang sometime. Okay. Regina, the new girl just got a million followers. All because of that stupid live of her singing? Like, she didn't even sound that good. We need to get her cancelled. And I think I just had to do it. Welcome to Influencer Academy, where we'll teach you how to become internet famous. What's your name? My name's Sydney. Sydney White. Cute. Um, I think your follower count is glitching. No, it's accurate. So you only have four followers? <laughs> how did you get into this school? The principal seemed to think that I had potential. I'm so sorry, but I couldn't help but overhear. I think she has potential to become internet famous. Hi, I'm Regina. I'm the most followed girl in the school. Check this out. Phone, phone, my most useful tool. Who's the most followed girl in all the school? You are, with over 10 million. Do you have any tips on how to get that many followers? I don't know, maybe make some actual friends first. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about him before. I wanted to know some more. And now I know what they mean. <gasps> Hey, sorry, didn't mean to scare you, but I'm live streaming right now and my followers her voice and they really like you. Lydia, will you marry me? Yes! Alright, guess you're safe until I tell the queen and then she's gonna ban marriage. <laughs> okay, that hurt. Oh, you're right, love. Let me see your hand. I can't believe you did that. He was gonna tell the queen and I just panicked. It's okay. I can't risk her banning marriage. My father made it a law before he passed that once I get married, I will become queen and I can finally put an end to all of her madness. Then we shall marry tonight, in secret. And what about the guard? I'll take care of him and I'll arrange everything for the wedding. Meet me at the chapel at 7pm. Go, and don't let her see the ring. Lydia, where's the guard that was with you today? <laughs> I'm not sure, stepmother. Hold it. You told me you broke up with your boyfriend. So now... <coughs> If I find out that you're lying to me, you'll be gone. We are gathered here. You look absolutely breathtaking. Thank you. But we have a slight problem. The guard escaped. What? Yes, and we probably only have a few minutes before he alerts the queen. Oh, God. Today's a day of celebration Do you think we of... could maybe skip to the end? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, princess. I now pronounce you husband and... Well, what do we have here? Finish, Finish your, your sentence. sentence. And wife, you are now officially married. Yes, Lydia, we did it. Marriage is banned. Eliminate them. I'll start with the princess first. No! Stop right there in the name of the law. The princess is now the queen. It says so here in this document. That's right. And now she can pick what is banned. I think I would like to ban people with wicked hearts. I think we can all agree that the ex-queen is in violation. What? No! Th that that's preposterous. I'm sorry, your majesty. Wait. I'm changing the rules. Violators will not be eliminated, but rather thrown in the dungeon. Why, you little... Good afternoon, princess. I have prepared your favorite...
Oh my, what a mess. And he was my favorite chef too, what a pity. I'm allowed to speak because I'm the queen and I make the rules, but I don't have to follow them. What you are doing is evil. Well, I don't care what you think, Prince William. Now, if you'll excuse us, I need to speak to Lydia alone. Lydia, I was just informed that your father made a law that once you get married, you will become queen. And you see, I can't have that happening. And since you and the prince are getting pretty serious... No! Now he must be killed. No, stepmother, please. He's all I have left. Usually I only give people a few seconds to obey the rules, but since he's royalty, I'll give you one minute to break up with him. Your time starts now. Follow her. Yes, your majesty. William, William, we have to break up. She banned boyfriends, not fiancés. Lydia, will you marry me? Queen says you have ten seconds left. Ow, my head. Go on, try it. It takes about two hours for it to kick in. What? They're the ones that made me dumb. How could they? Well, look who's finally awake. We had to do it, honey. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I have two delinquent parents that don't realize what they're doing is actually very wrong and most definitely illegal. All right, that's it. Time for you to take the dummy gummies. Let go! There you go. Yep, keep chewing. That's right. <laughs> Stop it. Let go! You're staying home from school today. The gummies will kick in soon. Come on, let's go. I have to find a way out of here before all my brain cells disappear. Wait, I know I have a bobby pin in my pocket. I could use this to pick the lock. <laughs> bubblegum, bubblegum, in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? Madeline? Madeline, are you in here? <gasps> Teacher! When you didn't come in for class today, I just knew something was wrong. My parents locked me up in here because they don't like me, I fear. Ow! <gasps> Your parents have been feeding you these. I knew it. They're very dangerous, Madeline. I think I know a way that can help you, but you have to trust me. Ew, brother, ew. This gummy will make you smarter than you were before. Boyfriend, I'm nervous. If you don't eat it, you could go brain dead. KK. Yes, good. <laughs> Madeline will be back. Hey, what's your teacher doing here? Stand back, teacher. What's going on, huh? What do you think you're gonna do? Every child deserves a parent, but not every parent deserves a child. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the heck? You're going to let Miss Lavender adopt me, and you're never going to bother me again. Is that okay with you, Miss Lavender? Yes, that's okay with me. Okay, okay, just put us down, you little freak. We'll sign the adoption papers right now. That's what I thought. <sighs> Why did you ban crying? As a princess, you can't be seen getting hysterical, and I'm afraid to inform you your father is ill. What? Yes, dear, I'm not sure if he's going to make it. Let me see him. Oh, father, how did this happen? <clears throat> I'm not sure. But your mother has gone too far with these new rules. Yes, and I'm afraid she's been abusing her power. Father, we have to stop her. Listen to me. You have to right my wrongs. It is up to you. Don't say that. You are the only hope to save the kingdom. Uh... Father? Your boyfriend, Prince William, is here to see you? Yes. Send him in, please. Of course, princess. Lydia, I heard the news. Here, this is for you, love. My favorite flower. This means a lot to me, William. Thank you. It's the least I can do. I can't believe she's not letting anyone cry about the loss of your father. Lydia, the Queen is out to get you. She must be stopped. But how? Shh, I might know a way, but it involves us getting... Even if I always end up crying No, you can't blame a girl Princess, stop! Look above your head. Singing? Why would she ban singing? Honestly, Princess, I'm pretty sure the Queen is jealous of you. But why would Stepmother be jealous of me? Don't you remember her wedding? You may now kiss the bride. Yay! Now I get to have a new mommy! <laughs> That's right, sweetheart. Your daughter is so cute. Here, honey, take a rose. Thank you. It's my wedding day, not hers. And now that I'm Queen, I have the power to do this. Give that to me. You kiss me. I Wait, do you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like someone's singing. It's the new maid, Linda. Linda, stop! She can't hear you. She has headphones on. Listen, Linda, look at me. Hello? We have to run over to her before she. <gasps> no. <laughs> She's gone too far this time. I have to speak to Father about this. Lydia, there you are. I was looking for you. Where's Father? There's something I have to tell you. But first. I smell like beef. 
Bro, what? <laughs> okay, settle down. Madeline, I'm gonna call your parents. Sorry to hear that Madeline is having trouble with her brain cells today, but I can assure you- Mike Wazowski. <clears throat> I can assure you she's gonna be fine. Bonjour. I really suggest you take her to the doctor. Miss Lavender, I know you really care for Madeline, but like I said, she's gonna be fine. Time to go. Your father's waiting for us in the car. Miko zoom zoom. Bye bye, teacher. <sighs> bye, Madeline. Ow, ow, ow! Would you quit your yapping? Are you sure those vitamins work? Yes, Richie, watch. What's two plus two, Madeline? Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> See? This is great. Now she's what? Hey, I want sleep sleep. It's 3 p.m. What the hell do you need to take a nap for? Richie, relax. It says here that the pills cause side effects, and I think one of them is, ooh, drowsiness and fainting. Whoops. There you go. Nice and easy. Who's that? <gasps> it's a teacher. Look what I bought. Dummy gummies? Yeah, supposedly they got real bad ingredients in them. So if you eat it, it gives you brain fog. If it's gonna stop her from being a smart mouth, I say it's worth a shot. Hi there, my cute little sweet little smart girl. Here, I got you special vitamins for your brain. You guys never cared about my brain health before. We're your parents. It's our job to care. Go on, try it. It takes about two hours for it to kick in. What? Nothing. Your mom was talking to me, not you. You better get to class, okay? Calculator's ready. What is the square root of 65? 8.0622. <laughs> Correct again, Madeline. How did she do that without a calculator? I know, right? Square root of 22 times 2. 9 point... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Whoa, look, she's only got three brain cells now. Oh my gosh, uh, Madeline, honey, are, are you okay? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Class, five times one is? Five. 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 Excellent. Now what is five times two? Ten. Ten. Good. You've been practicing. What about five times three? Fifteen. Fifteen. Good. One day you'll be able to multiply 428 times 555. <laughs> 237,540. <gasps> I'm sorry? I think that's the answer. 428 times 555, 237, 540. It is. Whoa, guys, look at her brain cells. Wow, she she must be lost. really smart. Your daughter is gifted. I think she can skip a grade. I never skipped a grade. Well, maybe it's just because you didn't have as much brain cells as me. Huh? I mean... You're trying to say you're smarter than your father, huh? No, I didn't mean it like that. Go to your room. You ain't skipping nothing. Richie, how many teeth do humans have? It's 32. 28 if you get your wisdom teeth removed. Was I talking to you, Miss Know-It-All? I was just trying to help. She gets more brain cells every day. I know, and she's always acting like she knows better than all of us. But don't worry, I found a way we can make her dumb. Let it be anything but sight. Smell? Okay, you know what? That's not that bad. Morning, little sis. I made you some coffee. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You, like, never do anything nice for me. Mm. <laughs> Ew! What was in that? Four-day-old coffee from my room. <laughs> Ew! Sucks that you lost your sense of smell, huh? How do you know that? Because you talk, like, super loud to yourself when you're in your room. I lost my sense of sight. Can you guide me to the bathroom? Yeah, I'll help you out. Come on, I'll guide you. Okay, you're inside the stall now, and I'm just gonna close the door. Thank you. Just wait till I'm done. So what sense did you lose? Taste? Oh no, I lost my sense of smell today. Good, because TPH, you're not going to want to smell in here after I'm done. You need to let it go. Need to let it go. Attention students, this is not a drill. There is a fire in the science lab. We need everyone to evacuate in a calm but fast manner. Again, this is not a drill. Almost done. I'm going to live for <gasps> Get away from her. Who do you think you are, huh? Trying to steal time from women? <sighs> Hey, get back here. How much time did he take from you? A lot, and now I only have one more day to live, but you know, it's fine. I'll help you get more time. Oh no, you've already done enough. With saving my life, I, I just couldn't ask you for any time, but thank you. Catch. What is this? That's what time thieves use to steal time. You're, you're kidding me, right? Nope, that sucker dropped it when he was running away from me. And now we're gonna go steal your time back. I, I don't know if we should- Come on, your clock is ticking. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Jake, stop. I only have 30 seconds left. We've been looking for him all day. We're not gonna find him. That guy's taking time from me, too. I'm not gonna- There he is! Oh, I got him. Put it on his wrist. Stop it. Let me go. No. Don't do this. It's working. 
Wait, I found out that there's little chips in all of our ears, and if you pull them out, you could stop your time and survive. He's probably lying. No, I'm not. I was just about to try. We'll try it first. I actually see something. <sighs> Hang on, if it's hurting you too much, I told you I can go first. No, it's okay. Just keep going. I got it. Look. I don't want to look. My time, it's at zero zero. It stopped, but I'm fine. He was telling the truth. We have to go on the news and tell everyone. Everyone is removing the chips in their ears after finding out from a young girl that it was what was causing electrocution after our time runs out. We did it. We saved the world. Please, Please share, share some, some time, time with, with us. us. I'm sorry, guys. I can't. But you have so much to spare, and I saw you share with someone else. I can't just be giving time out to everyone. Please, both of us only have one day left and we can't get a job. All right, fine. I will give you each one year if you promise to just leave me alone and not tell anyone how much time I have. Yeah, we promise. We won't tell a soul. Mm-hmm. All right, deal. Yes. Yes. All right, your total is one year. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Your total is two years. Is that okay? You know what? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, here's your dresses. Do you want a bag? <sighs> no, it's fine. Thank you. Okay, I think I bought enough stuff today. I should probably just go home. It must be really nice having all that time on your hands, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Peekaboo, let's see what you got here. Hey! It's not fair for you to have all this time. <laughs> no! I think you need to share some with me. Oh, let go! Don't fight it. This will be over quickly. <laughs> Bad luck for you running into a time thief. Oh, sweetie, I really thought that I lost you. So that man, he just gave you a thousand years and then he died? Yeah. Why would he do that? I don't know, Mom, but considering how much time this guy gave me, I mean, for all we know, he was probably alive for millions and millions of years. Yeah, maybe you're right. Mom, you know, me almost running out of time was kind of a blessing in disguise because, I mean, now we're rich. Shh, don't go around saying that too loud. You've never had that much time before, and others might want to steal it. There's people that will do that? Yes, there are people called time thieves, and they will drain you for every last bit of time that you have. Most people are only paying attention to their time, so just don't go around talking about it, okay? Yeah, okay. Please, someone help me. I only have two minutes left. Too bad, lady. Get out of my way. Oh, please. Don't intervene. Excuse me, miss. Please, can you help me? I'm sorry to ask- It's okay. I know how it feels to be in your position, so I'm gonna give you this. Oh my gosh, honey, you have no idea how much this means to me. You gave me a whole year. I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, please just uh, don't tell anyone, okay? <gasps> that girl has 999 years. Yo, can you share some time with me too? Come on, please pick up. Hello? Mom, it's me. Listen, I'm in so much trouble. My boss, he couldn't pay me today and I'm almost out of time. What? Where are you? I have to be next to you to transfer time. I... Mom? Come pick you up. We're Mom, I, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I'm coming as fast as I can. Mom? No, I must be in a dead zone. Excuse me, do you have any time to spare? I'm almost out. <laughs> yeah, kid. Join the club. Please. Sorry, I've got nothing to share. I can give you 30 seconds. 30 seconds, but I- It's all I can share, honey. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Hey, kid. What's the matter? My time is almost up and no one wants to transfer me any. So I understand if you don't either. Well, I... Hey, don't cry. You can have all my time. I've lived for long enough. Here. Mommy? What, sweetie? I'm cooking. My time. It says 10 seconds. <gasps> Hang on. I'm gonna transfer you time right now. Here. Wow, now I have three hours. Yes, this is why you need to stay close to me. I can't transfer you time unless I'm close by. Mommy, what happens if my time runs out? Well, sweetie, you... you die. Please, you gotta help me. I only have three... Ugh. He's the third one to run out of time today. I know, it's awful. Wait, you only have 30 minutes left. Don't worry about it. It's payday today, and I'm about to head over to my boss right now. He's one minute away. Okay, be careful. Hey, boss. Um... You're here to collect your time, I know, but I'm short today. I'll, uh, I'll pay you first thing tomorrow, though. Sound good? No, 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 you don't understand. I only have 20 minutes left. Go ask your mom to transfer you time. But I don't have a car, and I live at least 20 minutes from here. Sorry, kid. I suggest you start running. <gasps> you shouldn't have come over here. Wait! We killed her, come on, let's go! Not so fast. Remember how she- <laughs> 
came back from the dead last time? Look! Yo, didn't that number used to say a hundred? It did. <gasps> that must be how many lives she has. Is that what that number means, huh? Is that how many lives you have? I don't know what you're talking about. Let's kill her again and see if the number changes. Good idea. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's them right there. Freeze. Both of you. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, thank goodness. Excuse me. Can I speak to you privately, please? Yeah, sure. So, those two kids, they, they swear that you're some sort of alien that has a bunch of lives. <laughs> well, obviously, you know they're lying, right? Because that's ridiculous. I thought that too until I checked the security cameras and saw you come back to life. What's on your hand, huh? It's nothing. Uh-huh. Look, I work for the government and we just want to help you. Maybe run a few tests and find out what's going on with you. Oh, no, that's okay. Actually, I wasn't really asking. Here she is, Zack. Oh my gosh, I was so worried. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? What did they do? They said the only way they would let me go is if- We made her normal again, and she was so brave. Now she's only got one life, just like everybody else. What the- I just lost another life. Another life? You, you want to tell me what on earth just happened to you? Look, if I tell you, do you promise not to tell anyone else? <sighs> I promise. So you heal quickly and you have a lot of lives. Why were they trying to kill you? They think that I'm cursed or some sort of alien. And to be honest, I'm starting to think that maybe I am. But either way, I just think that it's best that you stay away from me so you can stay safe. Me stay safe? Love, they stabbed you and I saved your life. I know, and thank you, but I have 98 more, so don't worry. Wait, I am worried. You may have 98 lives, but if they're determined to kill you, they can do it. Trust me, you need my protection, and those two need to get caught. Okay, well, what's your plan to catch them? My plan, well, you might not like it too much, as it's going to involve you using up another life. Zack, I don't know about this. It'll be fine, trust me, I'm gonna record the whole thing this time. Yo, freak! This is Sarah and I's hangouts. We told you to stay away. Stop giving me the silent treatment. You threw away my whole bag of magic gummy bears. But you are so lucky that I found this one on the floor. So don't be mad. Well, you know what? This one has little hairs on it now. You see that? I have to eat this. Ew, well, mm. you don't have to. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to eat it. And whatever power I get, I'm going to use on you. <gasps> no, stop. Orange power activated. Oh, you are so done for. What? What power did you get? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I think I just got laser eyes. No, sissy, I'm sorry. I'll do your chores for a whole month. Make it two months, and you have a deal. Okay, deal, but do you want to test your powers by popping popcorn? Listen, little sis, I am almost an adult now, and I cannot be doing things like... You know what, go get the popcorn, let's do it. Okay, aim, and popcorn time! Whoa! <laughs> hey, principal. What are you doing at school? I thought I expelled you. But... I use mind control to make sure that you didn't remember that I was expelled. Oh, but the power expired, which means that you- Remember you freezing me solid? Get out of here. Please, I'm really sorry for what happened to you. I didn't mean to do it, I just panicked. But I have to go to school. <gasps> Watch out! <laughs> Principal, are you okay? Yes, that metal boomerang was about to hit me in the head. You just saved my life. Does this mean that you can let me be back enrolled in school? All right. Yes! Ow! My Gucci shoes! You melted them! I'm so sorry. Um, I think I better go home now and just wait for this power to expire. Bye. Mom? Honey, where were you? You're not gonna believe what happened, okay? I went rock climbing with these two kids from school and they pushed me off the cliff and I fell down but I somehow survived and my mark, remember how it said 100? Well, look at it! It says 99! Mom, look at me! Shh, honey, I have to call back the police to let them know you're okay. I cannot believe you're making up such a ridiculous story. Mom, you could see that I got hurt! I have a cut on the side of my head! No, you don't. What? There's no mark. There's nothing. I must heal super fast and that's how I survived that fall. This mark, it's the number of lives that I have left. I can't believe this, but I'm not gonna let Jack and Sarah get away with almost trying to kill me. If my mom doesn't believe me, then I'm gonna take care of things myself. <gasps> Jack, look! What? Ugh. What the heck? You're not dead? Yeah, you know, I actually survived. No thanks to you. Time for the second plan. Whoa, whoa, what are you- <laughs> You freak! You stay away from us! I knew she was an alien! Come on, run! Hey, oh my god, I saw what just happened. No, it's okay. I'm gonna be okay. Just, can you pull the knife out? Listen, I'm no doctor, but I don't think you're supposed to do that. Please do it. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to survive. Alright. 
You better not sue me for this. Oh no, I think she's... What the? What's that on your hand, honey? I don't know. Uh, did you get into my makeup again? No, I didn't. Mm-hmm. Go wash it off right now. Mommy, it's not coming off. What? Oh, give me your hand. What the heck? See, I told you. <sighs> Come here. We're going to the doctor. Why would you draw that on your hand? I didn't draw this on myself. It's a birthmark. At least, I think. You think? She's probably an alien. <laughs> I heard that she's cursed. Dude, for real, I feel like she's cursed. She's had that mark since kindergarten. We have to get rid of her. I have a plan. Hey, some of us are gonna go rock climbing. Do you wanna join? You wanna go with me? Yeah, we feel like it would be a lot of fun. Come on. Guys, um, I don't really know about this. The cliff looks pretty high up. Don't be a scaredy cat. We got you, girl. I really don't think this was a good idea, guys. Do it now. Cut a rope. What? Bye. No! My parents did die in a plane crash. I saw it on the news. You can't trust everything you see on TV. I don't understand. How do you- Uh-uh. If you want to know more about your parents, then I'm gonna need your help with something. Like what? My wife and I are running a big operation, and I think you'd be perfect for it. This operation, is it... illegal? Oh yeah. Then what makes you think that I'm gonna help you? For one, you want your little sister to stay safe, don't you? You wouldn't dare. Unfortunately, I would. But if you help me, I'll make sure she stays safe. You promise? I promise you, kid. You have a deal. Smart girl. Can you hear us? Nod your head if you can. Good. You know what to do. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. I'm so sorry, but there was a creepy man that was following me. I see. Well, where did he go? Which way? I think he went that way. I don't uh, see anybody- oh! Oh! I hacked into the cameras. We have five minutes. Okay, well, how are we supposed to get into the safe? Show her, honey. We will use this. Lipstick? Not just any lipstick. Laser lipstick. <laughs> yes, we did it. What the? Where's all the money? There's supposed to be millions. I don't understand. Back up. I need backup now. Who are you talking to? Um. Freeze. freeze. Put your hands where we can see them. Huh? Mom, Dad, you guys have me worried for a second. What is going on? Mr. and Mrs. Stefano, you guys have been played. This whole adoption was a setup. My mom and dad are spies. Yesterday, my powers turned my teacher into a frozen ice sculpture and she barely survived, so I think today I'm gonna go with green. Honey, the school just called and said that you've been eating magical gummy bears that have been giving you superpowers and you've been using them to hurt students and the principal? They've expelled you from the school. No, look, I didn't mean to, I- Give me that. These are getting taken from you. No, please. I didn't even get to try out all the colors yet. Just give them back. Okay, sweetheart. Whatever you say. Green power activated! Green must be mind control. Mom, I'm gonna go to school and fix everything. Do not touch these, okay? Okay, honey. I won't. <gasps> it's her. Girls, girls, come over here and talk to me for a second. <laughs> what? Both of you are gonna forget that I made you slip and fall on ice, and you're never gonna talk to me again. Okay, okay whatever, whatever you, you say. say. Uh, you're gonna forget that I have superpowers as well. Okay. okay. You! Hi, Principal Laney. Um, you no longer hate me, and I'm no longer expelled. Yes, dear, that sounds good. Hey, I saw you free principal. Come here, come here. What? No, you didn't. You're gonna forget everything you saw about me and you don't know I have superpowers. Mom, I'm back. Where's my gummy bears? I threw them out because you're not supposed to have candy. You what? Where did you throw them? In the garbage can. Oh dear, sorry honey, it's trash day. No, no, wait. Yesterday that super speed almost gave me a concussion. So today I'm gonna go with yellow and hope for the best. Yellow powers activated. Whoa, does that mean I'm gonna have ice powers like Elsa? Nothing's happening. Maybe it just takes a little time to master my powers. Let me try something. Come on, freeze, freeze. Achoo! I guess my power is frost breath. Hey, we heard you have super speed now. Do you think you could run to Paris and buy us some clothes? We'd pay you for it. I'm sorry, I actually don't have that power anymore. Today I have- Stop talking. If you don't have super speed and you can't get us clothes, we don't care anymore. She's such a pick-me girl, I swear. She is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ow. <laughs> it's not funny. Did you just injure two students? Um, stop, what are you- Bro, she just froze the principal. 
get magical peeps or get magical gummy bears. I do love peeps, but I think I'm gonna go with the gummy bears. Eat a gummy to get superpower. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna go with pink since, you know, I'm wearing pink today. Pink power activated. Cool. But wait, what does that emoji mean? Am I gonna be super fast or something? Pop quiz today and you only got five minutes. Excuse me, teacher, do you think I could have a little more time since I'm a very slow test taker? No special treatment, get to your test. Your time begins now. Here you go, I'm done. I hope I finished it quick enough. It's only been 30 seconds and you finished all the questions. How did you do that? Um, I can't believe I have super speed now. <sighs> I left my hat in gym class, but my mom's gonna pick me up soon. Girl, don't worry, I got you. Here you go. Whoa, thanks. There you are. You left the kitchen a mess last night. Go clean it. Okay, I will. Uh-oh. Sissy, you, you haven't talked all morning. Are you okay? Please, please, tell your dad to let me off the hook. Get away from her. We have to get out of here, Maisie. Huh? But we just got adopted. Maisie, come with me, darling. I have ice cream. <gasps> Ice cream! Your sister will be fine, but your father wants to speak to you now. Go on. He's in his office. There she is. Please, take a seat. I think I'll stand, thanks. Why is there a gun on the table? Well, I was gonna teach you how to use it. No need. You're brave. I like it. You tell me why you killed that man last night right now, because I was under the impression that Mafia bosses were supposed to be nice. Nice? <laughs> Whoever told you that must not have liked you very much. You see, my wife and I's job is very secretive, so because of that we gotta be... Ow! ...tough. But I'm always gonna have a soft spot for my girls. We are not your girls. My sister and I are leaving this place and we are never coming back. Oh boy. Listen, kid, I'm really sorry you had to see that last night, but I promise I'm no. gonna... No. Goodbye, Mr. Stefano. We will get adopted by someone else. Not so fast. Don't you want to know the truth about your real parents? What? What if I told you the plane crash they died in was all a hoax? You heard the adoption lady. You can't separate us. We're sisters. We only wanted one kid. I won't stop crying if you don't adopt my sister too. She's not lying. She won't. All right. We will adopt both of them. Yay. Okay, let's go. You too. You're never allowed in this room. Got it? Yes. Uh-huh. He can be harsh, but he is actually a big softie. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your real parents? Shh, it's okay. Mom and Dad will be back to pick us up soon. Sweetheart, your parents' plane, it crashed. They didn't make it. No, no. Oh, that is horrible. Yeah. Why don't you two go check out your new room? Okay. okay. I'm glad we get to stay together. Me too, Maisie. Good night. <laughs> Mr. Stefano, I've been hearing some loud noises coming... Please, please, tell your dad to let me off the hook. Get away from her. You weren't supposed to see that. Maisie, today's the day we get to pick what type of parents we want to be adopted by. It looks like we can either do... Mafia bosses or archaeologists. What do those parents do? Uh, I think archaeologists study rocks or something, but I don't know what mafia bosses do. We should ask some of the other foster kids. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I picked to be adopted by a billionaire. Do you know what Mafia boss means? We're trying to figure it out so we can pick one for our adoption. <laughs> <laughs> you two don't know what Mafia means? No. no. Oh, well, let me tell you, they are so cool. Yeah, you should totally pick that option. Really? Yeah, I've heard they're like really nice people. But what about the archaeologists? Ew, boring. Pick, pick the, the mafia. mafia, pick, pick the, the mafia. mafia. Okay, okay. Your new parents are here, girls. <gasps> Hello, we are Mr. and Mrs. Stefano. We'll take the little one. What? Come here, child. <gasps> Sissy, now wait a minute, you can't separate them, they're sisters. Wait, if you work for my mom, then why are you helping me? Because this is all getting out of hand. They just passed a new law that everyone locked up is to be killed. And that includes your friend, Tara. No, she wouldn't do that. Well, it's supposed to happen tonight at midnight. And your mom isn't the only one that works for the system. In fact, the others are getting kind of mad that she keeps making the beauty standards too easy. What? Yeah, supposedly some of them are going to try and hack the system and change the standard to something really hard. And it looks like they already did it. Wait, this is perfect. 
Let me scan you for the beauty check. What? No, I'm gonna fail. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Trust me, I think this is the only way we can get your mom to shut the system down. Just stay still. Failed. I'm back. <gasps> mom, please help me. Who changed the beauty standard to blue eyes? I'm not sure, but ma'am, your daughter has failed the inspection. No, no, she never fails. Ma'am, I would suggest shutting down the system. I can't. You have to, please. It, it doesn't work like that the way I designed it. It has to say something for the standard. Then put that everyone is beautiful. Otherwise, you know what's gonna happen. Mom? Ma'am, the system has been hacked. They're gonna kill her for failing. I... I can't. Mom, please. Ma'am, you're the only one that can change this. Come on. I... No. I did it. I'm so sorry, honey. I got so caught up in these beauty standards that I forgot what was really important. Here, go free everyone. Thank you. You made the right choice, ma'am. Let's go. <sighs> Tara! You came back. <laughs> Hang on, let me put in the code. They, they said they were gonna kill- No, that's not happening anymore. The system is over with. Everyone is considered beautiful. You're all free to go. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just gonna feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. This looks so cute. Mom, please don't hurt my friend. Hush, let me finish your freckles. All right, now let me scan you. No, no, I don't want to do the beauty check. Oh, stop being so dramatic. Passed. You see, that was easy. Why are you making these beauty standards for people? Because growing up, my mother made sure I followed all the beauty standards. Every single one. I'm really sorry that happened to you, but you can't force everyone to follow these standards. It's not... it's not fair. Oh, honey, I didn't even get to finish my story. Jace, keep an eye on her. I'll be right back. Sure thing, boss. Hey, I'm gonna give you something to wake you up. Can you hear me? This is gonna hurt a little bit. What? I'm gonna inject it into your arm. Three, two... <laughs> I'm sorry, but your mom, she's planning on killing your friend. But I know a way you could stop her and shut down this whole system. Can anyone hear me? I hear her again. It's not real. It's not real. Mom forgot her laptop in here. She got a text from someone called Unknown. Hey boss, we're gonna need you to make the beauty standards a lot harder. Not enough people have been eliminated. Wait, he wouldn't be calling her boss unless she's in charge of the whole system. So, if my mom is in charge of the beauty standards, then... Someone help us, please! That voice is real. Okay, it's gonna be okay. I just have to follow where the voice is coming from and save my friend. The beauty standard is about to change. I better hurry. Hello? <gasps> Tara? You... you found me. Oh my gosh, you're okay. Your mom, she, she's in charge of the system. I know, I know. Honey, it's dinner time. I have to go. No, don't leave me in the cell. I'll be back, alright? I'm gonna save you. I'm so glad you're eating. Was it good? It was really good. Great, because I put something special in there to help you relax. Wait, what do you mean? I know you know my secret and I can't have you freeing your friend. You're just gonna feel a little tired. Oh, but don't worry. I'll make sure you pass the beauty standard. I brought you food, hun. No, mom, I'm not hungry. How am I supposed to eat knowing that my best friend is locked away somewhere? Sweetie, you gotta eat or you're gonna get too thin. I don't care! And why won't this stupid thing just load? The system is down right now, but it'll load. Help, someone help us. Did you hear that? It sounded like it was coming from the vents. Mom, please tell me you heard that. That was Tara's voice, right? Oh no, sweetie, I didn't hear a thing. You must be imagining things. No, but I heard- Honey, you witnessed something very traumatic with your friend, and I think you might be experiencing some PTSD right now. <laughs> Sweetie? No, I don't care what it is. I'm not looking. I'm not doing it. This one is so easy to do. I'll help you. See, that wasn't so bad. Now let me get out the beauty scanner so you can show that you passed the inspection. Whoa, wait a minute. How do you have one of those? Only people that work for the system have one of those. Well, lucky me found this one on the ground. Now stay still. Good girl. Passed. Honey, I'll be right back. Please, can anyone hear me? I hear her again. Not real. It's not real. Well, it was really nice talking to you. Yeah, have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I'll, um, I'll see you around. We should definitely, like, hang out sometime. Yeah, okay. Okay, have a good night. Bye. <sighs> I really thought he was gonna ask me out tonight. Maybe he doesn't feel the same way about me. I just wish I knew the truth. You cool? Whoa! Who are you? I'm the truth fairy, sweetheart. You wish that I'll stop? I did. 
Anyways, let's make this quick, okay? The rules are simple. You only get three questions, and I have to give you the truth, no matter how ugly. Can you really do that? Wait, did I just use up a question? Uh, okay, I want to know what my crush really thinks about me. This one's gonna take a while, sweetheart. Whoa, whoa, wait a second, hold on! You're writing way too fast and I can barely read your handwriting. Hang on, I have an app for this. I'll just use the cam scanner app. And I'll make sure to have the no shadow filter on. And now I can extract the text. And I can make any changes I need from here. He does like me back, but wait a second. The reason he hasn't asked me out yet is because he secretly wishes I would die? Second page, sweetheart. Oh, dye my hair red. Wait, what? Eh, figures. Guys are really into redheads these days, you know? It's the truth. Next in line for the beauty check. Pass. You're clear. Get out of here. Hi, oh, what happened? The beauty standard happened. Apparently, bangs are in style now. Who cut them for you? <laughs> oh gosh, this has definitely backfired. What? Nothing, it's just you don't really look as good as you used no, no, no. to. No, mom, don't worry. These are actually fake. They're, uh, they're clip-ons, see? Oh, thank goodness. It was actually my friend's idea. She has the same color hair as me, and she carries these clip-on bangs in her backpack, and... <laughs> the beauty standard changed. Oh, well, that was perfect timing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just realized if the beauty standard is no bangs, then my best friend is in danger. Beauty check in 10 minutes. I have to get to class. Time for the beauty check. Well, actually, I was looking for my best friend, Tara. She has hair like me and- There are other people in line. Don't move while we scan you. Passed. Next. Help me take this one to the van. <sighs> yes, sir. That's my friend. No, please, you can't take her. Miss, let us do our job. <laughs> Worry about yourself. The beauty standard is changing again. Mom, do you think I have big lips? <laughs> yes, honey. Are you sure, though? Because I could just rock the fish face all day, you know? <laughs> Sweetheart, stop it. You look ridiculous. You don't need to do that. You'll be fine. Well, thanks, but wish me luck for the beauty inspection. You won't need luck, honey. I'm sure you'll pass. Help me. I have super thin lips. Shoot. <sighs> what am I gonna do? You remember the Kylie Jenner lip challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so just go into the science lab, get like a little container and... Girl, do not do that. That looks really weird. Okay, you know what I mean. Beauty inspection in five minutes. Hurry! I'm going. Next. All right, stand still while the beauty scanner scans your face. Passed. All right, you're good to go. Next. Hey, you passed the beauty inspection. Yeah, your idea worked. We got a runner. Please, I swear my lips are not that- Bring her to the van. Where do you think they take them? I don't know, but I don't think I want to know either. Same. Bangs? Yes, safe! But I'm not. You helped me, so now I'm gonna help you. Get in the car. Wait, she seemed a little distressed today. Oh, I think she's coming down with a cold. But our play is tomorrow. Don't worry. If she's sick, her stepsister will perform for her. Now let's go. Okay, here's some words. Now, Lacey, you practice lip sync in the Ella's voice. Ella, start singing. No. What did you what say? Did you say? I'm not gonna let her get credit for my singing voice. I'm gonna take away all your words again. Okay, do it. You little brat! I don't need you. Don't go breaking my heart! See, I can sing myself. Yeah, good luck with that. You know what? I'm going to talk to Adam. Hold it. You're not talking to anybody. You don't want to cooperate, so you're gonna stay in this room forever. No, no please. <laughs> Bye, Ella! Mom, take away her words. It's done. Now no one can hear her. Ella, are you home? I snuck in through your back door. I really hope you're here. <gasps> I really hope that's you. Okay, I'm coming. Ella! Let me guess, your step locked you in here and took away your words? Ugh, I knew it. I got a million words today. You can have some of mine. Thanks. Chelsea, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I bet Fiona was forcing you to say all that mean stuff, huh? Well, right now, your stepsister's putting on your costume. She's gonna go on instead of you. But she can't even sing. Tell me about it. I heard her practicing. You gotta do something. You know what? You're right. Come on. Let's go. I won't go breaking your heart. Oh, you suck. This play is a disaster. We need Ella. Well, lucky for you, Adam, she's right here. Hey, cut Lacey's mic and cue the music again. Don't go breaking my heart.
Hey, my dad wants to offer you a scholarship to his college. Wait, really? Yeah, he's like the head of this performing arts university and he thinks you're really talented. But how's she gonna sing without a voice? <laughs> Whoa, did you just take her words? Yeah, Adam, they did, and they've been doing it. They're right over there, officer. You two are under arrest for word thievery. No! Stop it! And since you stole from her, she gets all your words. <laughs> Sit down and look up. Surprise! I've been controlling your words. I really thought she was gonna catch on, but she never did. All of this time, you've been taking my words? How could you do that, you- Eh-eh. <laughs> That's enough. You always got so many more words than I did, and it just wasn't fair. You outshined my daughter with your words, so I took that away. And now you're trying to outshine her by being the lead in the play? Well, that's not gonna happen. So, if you ever wanna talk again, you're gonna do as we say. Hey you. Aw, you're all the words again. Here, take some. What's wrong? I can't be friends with you anymore, and if you give me words again, I'm going to report you. What? Ella, how could you say that? Wait! You ready, honey? Oh, I'm ready. Your stepsister's pretending to have your voice, so you better make it good. I won't go breaking your heart. Wow, you sound just like Ella. If anything happens to her, you will go up on stage for the play. Oh my gosh, okay, thank you, sounds good. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thanks. What? I need to use the restroom. Hurry up, I want to go home. You have five minutes. There, go. Ella, there you are. I wanted to check on you. You didn't seem like yourself today. You, you need help? You don't have any words. Ella, what are you doing? Come here. I found her, Mom. Let go. Mom! What? What do you want? I found Ella, and she got more words. What are you talking about? She doesn't have any words. She got more, I swear. What are you smiling about? Get to your chores. Mom, you have to believe me. Someone gave her words. No, I know, honey. I heard her talking. That's why I'm gonna have you spy on her tomorrow at school. Oh, and this way she won't suspect anything. Exactly. Something's going on with her. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yes, I haven't gotten this many words since my dad passed away. I'm pleased to announce we have finally casted our prince for the play. Hi, I'm Adam. Save your words, Adam. We're going to be rehearsing the first part of the song right now. That was great. One moment. We need to fix the mics. Hey, did they cast the captain of the football team as the prince? Oh, you must have used up all your words in the play rehearsal. Here, I need the tea. Come on, what happened? Okay, so basically he was looking at me the whole time and like you- I won't go breaking- Nice voice. Fiona, you weren't supposed to be home until- Until later? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hon? I just got a lot of words today. Or did someone give you a lot of words? Like your friend Chelsea? So you could spill the tea to her about the play? How did you know that I- Oh, I think that's enough talking from her today, don't you? <laughs> yes, Mom. I think it's time she learns the truth. No. I needed a lot today. Aw, you poor thing. It's not fair. How come you guys always get so many more words than I do? Um, how are we supposed to know that? I don't know. Hey, Ella, don't forget I got a lot of chores for you to do after school. Okay, Fiona. And you better not be late this time. Mom, look, she already used up all her words. What do you expect? She's a blabbermouth. Here, that's for you. Chelsea, you're not supposed to give words. Shh, you're gonna waste them. They're for your big audition for the school play today. Come on, you've been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Now go show them what you got. I can be who you want me to be. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. We don't need to hear any more. You got the part. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, you're exactly what we're looking for. There you are, Mom's been trying to call- How did you get more words? I- Oh, I'm so telling, Mom. Come here. Wear my soulmate's clothes, or speak my soulmate's first language until I meet them. I don't feel like changing my style, so I'm gonna go with this one. Hopefully I don't regret it. Sweetie, you want some cereal? No, gracias, mamá. Debo ir ahora. Since when do you know Spanish? Ay, mamá. What is going on? Su alma gemela debe hablar español. I don't know that much Spanish. What are you saying? No importa. Mejor me voy. Hey, girl. Are you good? No, mires. Why are you speaking? Oh, well, hey, at least I'm fluent in Spanish so I can understand you. Tengo presentación hoy. No puedo hablar inglés hasta encontrar a mi alma gemela. Así que no sé qué hacer. Hey, Spanish is a beautiful language, and I'm sure the teacher will understand. You're gonna be fine, okay? Can you not speak in English today? Okay, it's fine. You know what? You don't even have to present. No fair! Everybody quiet down. I can't grade her if I don't understand her. Gracias, gracias, profe. You know, you've been handling having to speak a different language like a champ. 
Well, thank you. It was actually kind of hard because I... Wait, you're speaking English now. But that is only possible if... If we're soulmates. Mi idioma es el español. Your crush is gonna appear. Oh no, my life is over. Come on, sissy, it's not gonna be... Mr. Smith. You have a crush on your math teacher? No. <laughs> No one can know this. No one can see your crush unless they make eye contact with you. Oh yeah, that'll be great because nobody looks me in the eyes. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Giving myself a fake fever so mom won't make me go to school. Nice try, honey. I heard that. Uh, Bria? Hey, how y'all doing? I think the better question is how are you doing? Why do you have sunglasses on? Um, no reason. Girl, be for real with us. What happened? All right, fine. Just look above my head. Well, what? <gasps> Having a crush on Mr. Smith is crazy. I did not expect that. Look, it's not my fault that I find older men attractive, all right? What am I going to do? Um, I would suggest maybe go see a therapist. <laughs> oh my gosh, Courtney, stop. Gee, thanks for the help. <laughs> Rhea, please remove the sunglasses. Um, I just had laser eye surgery, so I can't. Stop lying, Bria. You know sunglasses aren't allowed in the classroom. <laughs> We're not allowed to wear hats in the classroom either, Bria. <sighs> Come on. Mr. Smith wants to see your eyes. Hey, did you need any help with your homework? No, nope. Didn't need any help at all. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Maria, it's a little disrespectful to not look at me when I'm speaking to you. What's going on with you today? You're usually so friendly. It was just a little hair. Get out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her. I just know it. Love meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I- Stop calling her, she's not gonna answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I- Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away for some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay, and I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend. You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Sure. Really? Because I'm new here and, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date? Okay. Okay, see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh! What the? Oh! I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. <laughs> so, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally, come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually gonna put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So, about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just can we get back to what we were talking about? Girlie, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. Wow, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see- no, I'm not going to be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, X equals two and Y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings? Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? 
Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. See how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. Just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather? From middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Hello? Anyone? Hey, Claire, are you in there? Yes, Drake, it's me. I'm in here. Okay, I'm coming in. I can't believe they locked you in the janitor's closet. I know, but that's high school mean girls for you, I guess. Yeah, don't let them get to you. Let me help you have some food, and then I can drive you home. Okay. Hey, sissy, you can move your arms now. Yeah, finally. I'm still waiting for my next curse to load. Are you gonna tell Drake that you like him? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm finally just gonna tell him that I like... That you what? Uh-oh. Oh no, your curse, it, it says you can't speak. Sorry, sissy. You're putting nuts in Drake's food, but he's allergic. I know. It's what he gets for ignoring me and paying attention to that random girl yesterday. Hey, you. I was just about to eat my lunch. Do you want some? Oh! Why would you do that? I was saving you, Ashley. Put nuts in your food, Drake. What the hell, Ashley? Is that true? Drakey, no. I literally never do that. Really? Then why do I see peanut shavings on the side of your bag? Uh... Liar. You can't prove anything. So, looks like we both kind of saved each other this week. <laughs> that was nice. I just wish there was a way we could end these curses, you know? Me too. Hey! My curse! My curse is it's broken. broken! Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. And that means this blood must be real. If that blood was real, then I'm lucky to have made it home alive. But whose blood would it have been? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. What if Mr. and Mrs. Parker killed Tabitha and Thomas's real parents and that was their blood in the attic? <coughs> it's them. Hello? We need you, ASAP. Thank you for agreeing to come. See you. See you. If something really is going on there, I'm gonna have to prove it, so when Mr. and Mrs. Parker leave, I'm gonna investigate the attic myself. Hopefully this is tall enough to reach the attic. Say, well, what are you doing? Tabitha, I told you to go watch Coco Melon. No, I wanna be with you. What's that? It's an Amber Alert for a missing baby, and it's a picture of your baby brother. I think these kids were kidnapped. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. <laughs> I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. You know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand. What do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were gonna use you as bait to get to him. But we're gonna make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be- Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh. Keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine. Remember, I have a plan. He's still alive, so I'm moving you to a different lo- Oh, oh! Not today! <gasps> hey, Jason, surrender now or I'll kill him. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand? Huh? Hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy. Well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's worth a shot.
Sweet. Whoa, it totally worked! And now, it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight, and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to teach me. Why, you little... <laughs> cat sit for a millionaire, or babysit for a billionaire. I do love cats, but I am allergic, and I think the billionaires are gonna pay more. Thank you for coming. How does 5,000 an hour sound? 5,000? Mm-hmm. Is that too low for you? No, no, that's plenty. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Let me just go get the kids. This is Tabitha <gasps> and Thomas. <gasps> now let's go over the rules. Okay. And lastly, bedtime is at 8. Question, when you say the kids aren't allowed outside, how do they go to school? Tabitha is homeschooled. Oh, okay. And of course, our son is just a baby. Time for us to go. Yes, don't you worry, Mr. and Mrs. Parker. Your kids are in great... Hands. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bonked his head. Oh, it's already eight o'clock. It's time for bed. Uh, Sarah? Yes? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mom and daddy and I get scared. They're just dreams, sweetheart. You sleep well, okay? Good night. Good night, Sarah. I can't believe I'm working for billionaires. Is that blood? And it just dripped on me from the attic. You saw blood. Yeah, and I'm just a bit concerned because... <laughs> <laughs> blood in the I attic. I don't really see how this is funny. The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. We stole them in the attic. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I may have overreacted a bit. Oh, you poor thing. You were probably terrified. Here's a $100 gift card for your troubles. Well, thank you, but are you sure you don't want my help cleaning up all that mess? No, thank you, but can you watch the kids next Saturday? Yes, of course. Excellent. See you then. Bye-bye now. Please make sure Tabitha does not go in the guest bedroom. We're renovating it and it's not safe for children. Yes, of course. Understood. <gasps> Sewa! Tabitha, hi! Are you ready to play some games? <laughs> yeah, I missed you. Come on, follow me. I want to play in here. No, no, Tabitha, you're not supposed to go in there. Tabitha, I really don't appreciate you not listening. I saw we. I thought your parents said they were renovating this room. W what does renovating mean? <laughs> it means like to fix it up and make it pretty. It's already pretty. Is that blood on the countertop? Huh? You know what, I'm sorry. It's probably just from your Halloween decorations. Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? Please tell me that's you at my door. It's midnight, so if it's not you, then... Are you Jason's soulmate? Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. Yeah, must be. Get her. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Nah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand, because I... Ah, uh, it got me right in the eye. Oh. Ooh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Oh. Ugh. You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's gonna do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. <laughs> you know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now... There's no one left to save you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I'm... <coughs> I better go. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous? Great excuse. 
I'm serious, you could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am gonna get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. My soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um, I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye-bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough. I'll try it on. All right, you know what? This dress is pretty cute. I like it. Okay, okay, we have to go to the party now. Hey Brie, nice dress! Thanks! <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, I can't go to jail. This isn't over, kid. Come on, let's go. Okay, you get one phone call. Hurry up. Come on, pick up. Pick up, damn it. Hello? Hey, Kate, it's me. Who? It, it's Jane. Remember I helped you steal... Uh, I mean, I helped you borrow that car one time. Oh, yes, Jane. I remember you. Yeah, listen, I am in a bit of a jam. I am currently in jail, and I'm gonna need you to bail me out. What? Wait, wait how did that happen? It's a long story. I don't want to talk about it, but uh, let's just say I'm never having kids. <laughs> you always did have a soft spot, didn't you? Okay, are you gonna help me or not? Depends. Is there going to be revenge? Um, it's me. Duh. Then I'm in. See you soon, Jane. Next. What do we got here? Jane Danvers. Okay, here's your stuff. Get out. I can't believe she took your car, too. Yeah, I know. That little brat was a con artist herself. But she's gonna wish she didn't mess with me. You remember the plan? Sure. Let's do this. Oh, hey! Oh! Pardon me, I'm such a klutz. Hey, J Jane, how did you get out of prison? I, uh, I got bailed out, no thanks to you. About how I took your car and turned you in, You I... were just trying to save yourself. Exactly, so you're not mad, right? Nah, come here, give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, ma'am, I just saw that girl take your wallet. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, she did, it's right there in her back pocket. Hey! I didn't take her stupid wallet, she did this! Oh my gosh, please don't hurt me! Oh, no. <laughs> Someone call the police! You're coming with us! Get off of me! I'm telling you it was her! Later, traitor. Why, you little bit? You sure showed her, Jane. Never tried out, Conacon woman. Precisely. Have fun being broken homeless. <laughs> you know what? The heck with them. But I promised you guys I would not leave you with her. I promise I won't let her touch you again. Excuse me, miss. Do you have any spare money? I'm so hungry. How about this, hun? I'll give you $20 for those two stuffed animals. You know what? Deal. Uh-oh, I only have pocket change. But you said you would give me 20 This isn't worth it. Sorry, honey. I gotta go. Give me back my stuffed animals. Bye. See ya. Hey! Wait a minute. She dropped her credit card. I hope she doesn't mind me going on a little shopping spree. Ow! Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Not. Excuse me, miss. Is your name Jane? No. Freeze! Jane 5, cop 0. Excuse me, miss. I'm homeless, and I was wondering if you have any money. What do you say you come work for me? Okay. Pretending to be your daughter was the perfect distraction. I told you, they never suspect a mother-daughter duo. And this is nothing, kid. If you stick with me, I got a lot more tricks where this came from. Hey, you two! They must know we stole! Stay calm, kid. I got this. Excuse me, officer. There's just been a misunderstanding. I- Officer, help! She's trying to kidnap me! What? I thought we were a team. Hands on your head! I'm sorry. I can't go to jail. La 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 la. Can I play with one of your toys, too? No. Why not? Because you're not my real sister. Yes, we are. Sasha said she said that we are. You're literally just proving my point. You call her Sasha, not Mom. When I get a real baby sister, that's when I'll share my toys. Thank you for saving us from that evil girl. Yeah, she was so mean to us. Don't worry, guys. I promise I won't let her touch you again. 
Hey, Sasha, so I was wondering, since it's almost Halloween, do you think I could get some money for a costume? If you want one, Jane, buy it yourself. Wait, you bought one for Anna? Yes, but that's, that's different. Whatever. My mom said that when she was a baby, they found her on the side of the highway. <gasps> no way. Her real parents just ditched her like that? It's no wonder that she has so many issues. Right? That makes so much more sense now. <laughs> okay, girlies, let's go do our Halloween makeup, and then we'll get into our costumes. Yay! Look at this new makeup palette I got. Wait a minute. Are these my stuffed animals from when I was little? No. Uh-huh. And where did you get the money to buy that costume? I found some money on the street. You little thief! Give me that hey. bucket! Oh my gosh, is this your little stash of all my stuff? Mom, come here and look at this. <gasps> you don't even use any of that. It doesn't matter. I will not allow a thief to live in my home. So what? You're gonna kick me out? As a matter of fact, I will. Whatever, I don't need you guys anyways. I know you only adopted me, so you could look good in front of your rich friends. Oh, how dare you. Here, this is all the money I'm giving you. Good luck living on the streets. You know, I'm pretty sure this is illegal. No, dear. You're 18 now. This will be good for you, Jane. It was nice knowing you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you got a little something right here. Oh, sorry. It's probably for my lunch earlier. Oh, I guess you went really heavy on that ketchup, huh? <laughs> right. Ketchup. Hey, girl. I got you the garlic you needed. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. I'm going to get some fresh air outside. I, I can't breathe right are now. Are you good? Yeah. Oh, you guys look so cute. Let me take your picture. Uh, no, no, no. That's, uh, that's okay. That's okay. I'll do it really quick. Ready? I don't want to take it. Smile. What the heck? He's not in the photo. Wait, let me see. <gasps> There's only one logical explanation for this. It's a glitch with the new update. Oh yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, 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 it's definitely that, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are both gonna be my lunch later. What? 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 <laughs> I'm a POV actor. Okay, sissy, smile. Here comes the toothbrush. <laughs> okay, sissy, smile. Here comes the toothbrush. I'm a POV actor. Who is ready for their first day of scare school? Oh no. Who is ready for their first day of scare school? Me. I'm a POV actor. If you want to know more about your parents, then I'm gonna need your help with something. If you want to know more about your parents, then I'm gonna need your help with something. I'm a POV actor. I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hun? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hun? I just got- I'm a POV actor. We see you still have infinite brain cells. We see you still have infinite brain cells. <laughs> I'm a POV actor. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. I'm a POV actor. Are you a real prince? Are you a real prince? Yes, to my knowledge. Uh, yes, to my knowledge. I'm actually half werewolf. My father doesn't know. What? He's been training me to be a monster hunter for years, but I just can't go through with this. I don't like seeing him hurt you. Son, we need a blood sample from her. Come on, we gotta get you out of here now. Son? Run, this way. Alright, you should be safe now. Thanks. Us mythical creatures, we have this thing called a scary soulmate. I know, since I'm half werewolf, I also got one. Oh. <laughs> what does yours say? Monster hunter? Huh, mine says vampire. You don't think that you and I are... Soulmates? There she is! Get back! Mom, Dad, please wait. He... he saved my life. I'm sorry for taking her away. I was just trying to make my dad proud. Batalina, humans are not to be trusted. But... but he's not fully human. Watch, I'll prove it. <gasps> you are a werewolf? Part werewolf, yes sir. So, does this mean that you'll allow us to date? Date? You like him. Yeah, we kind of think that we're each other's soulmates. Yeah, I see. Oh! Dad! That was for kidnapping my daughter. Oh. But that is for returning her safely. Thanks. You may kiss him now. Wait, what? You must kiss him, darling, to see if he's truly your scary soulmate. Like, right now? In front of you guys? Come on, would you just kiss him already? Luna, when did you get here? Eh, just a little while ago. Okay, well, can you guys, like, close your eyes, please? Of course. It's okay. We should find out. It's a match. <laughs> we are. Yes, I knew it. Guys, look! Son, how dare you betray me? Get away, Dad. She's my soulmate, and I'm not gonna let you hurt her. You're a creature like them? Yes, he is, and I suggest you run unless... You want to become our next meal. Uh, of course not. Please don't eat me. I I'm going. I'm leaving. He won't be bothering us again. Yeah, I think we all scared the crap out of him. Hey. <laughs> You're coming with me. What the? 
Oh, hell no. I'm not dealing with this. Get away from me! Welcome back from school. Here, eat some zombie fingers. I'm not really hungry. Mom says my things are gonna come in before yours. That's really great, Luna. Listen, I have to tell you something, but you have to promise not to tell Mom and Dad. Is it about your soulmate? Yes, and I'm only telling you this because I can't stand keeping this secret anymore. <gasps> is your soulmate a werewolf? No, worse than that. Uh, is he a ghost or something? Worse. Wait, is your soulmate a human? Yeah. Is your soulmate a monster Shush, hunter? Shush, they're gonna hear you. Monster hunters want to experiment on us. I know, okay? I almost got captured by one today. Wait, what? Look, it's a long story, but... No way I'm answering that. Luna! Betalina, go see who's at the door. Of course. Hey, remember me? I got a surprise for you. <laughs> you caught a beautiful vampire, son. Thanks, it wasn't easy. So feisty, but no fangs, I see. Interesting. First, let's test your resistance to sunlight. No, please. Dad, wait. <laughs> Son, watch her. I'll be right back. Hey, there's something I need to tell you. Darling, are you ready for scare school? Yeah, but I'm kinda sad Halloween break is over. Well, have you gotten your scary soulmate yet? I haven't yet, but I'm sure it'll say vampire. Any species will be fine, as long as it doesn't say... Monster Hunter. Don't worry, dear. I'm sure you will get a spooktacular soulmate. Of course. Um, I better get to class. Class, for an icebreaker, why don't we all tell each other our scary soulmates? Batalina, we'll start with you. Well, my scary soulmate is... Red alert. Red alert. Monster Hunter has been detected on property. <gasps> what? Everyone, be quiet. Get to the safe room. Batalina, hurry, we have to get to the safe room. Bulia, I don't know what's wrong. There must be garlic around here somewhere. But they're about to close the doors. <laughs> Just go! Save yourself! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I see you fell right for my garlic trap. Finally, I've caught my first vampire. You're coming with me. Thank you for coming. I... I don't know what to do. What happened? I tried to wish myself back, and it didn't work. Oh, Twitz. Listen, you gotta go back to your husband. You gotta convince him that it's you. But he won't believe me. Then tell him something that's gonna make him believe you. I gotta go. But Susan, wait, where are you going? I got a job to do somewhere else. You got this. Walter, hi. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually Elizabeth, your your ex-wife. If this is some kind of joke... I'm being serious. I don't have time for this. No, 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 please wait. I can prove it to you. The day that we met, you were wearing a Dodgers cap, and I was wearing an Angels cap, and we got into this big silly argument about whose team was better. What? H how do you know that? Because I lived it because it was me. Elizabeth, but how? I made a wish to be younger, and I realized that my whole life I've put myself first. I only cared about me, and that was wrong. I just want to be better. Hey guys? Mom? You look different. Yeah, well, I realized that the darker makeup was making me look a lot older. Oh, and Samantha, these are for you. You deserve better than Dean. You know I had a boyfriend? Uh-oh. Guys, it's alright. I know about the party, too. And I'm not mad. You're, You're not? not? No, you know, I've decided I don't want to be that mom that just grounds you guys all the time. Your mother has promised she's going to be different. I'm sorry, did we miss something? Just my friend Susan helped me realize some things. Susan? Elizabeth, you've never had a friend named Susan. She was an angel. You look gorgeous. Shouldn't you be complimenting Samantha, since she's your girlfriend? Babe, I got your drink. Oh, baby, thank you. Yay, people are starting to arrive. I'll go get the door. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. I am watching you, young man. Sam, hey, you're at this party too? What are you doing in this corner all by yourself? Shh, don't say my name. He'll hear you. Who's gonna hear me? Hey, Sammy boy. I've been looking for you. What are you hiding from me? What a wimp. What is your name? My name's Josh. Oh, I know you. You're Mrs. Johnson's kid. Yes, your mother has told me all about you. She said that he's been having a lot of trouble growing facial hair. She told you that? <laughs> Judging from that one hair on your face, you haven't fixed the problem. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm out of here. We sure showed him. Now, what do you say, Sam? You get out of this corner and go enjoy the party? You know what? You're right. I will. Samantha's busy right now. So what do you say, you and I? Oh. Dean, did you just try and kiss Christina? Baby, no, I- Get out of my house. You heard her, get out. Actually, everyone can get out. Dad! Your party's over, Samantha. Wait, who's that? 
That's Christina. She's her friend. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, you look exactly like my ex-wife when she was in high school. Really? Dad, speaking of mom, listen, I'm really sorry about the party, but please don't tell her about any of this. What? what? Why not? She'll get so mad at me. Honey, I'm sure she wouldn't. You don't understand. My mom is super strict. If she finds out that I had a party and a secret boyfriend, she might never let me see my dad again. Christina, I think my daughter needs to be alone. Of course. I'll, um, I'll let you guys talk. I need to help my kids. I wish to be back to my older self. Why isn't it working? How do you know my name? It says it right there on your backpack. Oh, did you say you brought me snacks? I was just kidding. Uh-huh. Sam, wait up. Where are you headed? Why do you care? I just thought that I could be your friend. No thanks. I don't have any friends here and I don't plan on making any either. Of course you have friends. I mean, yeah, but not here. I just play with them on Discord. So that's why you're always playing video games? What? Nothing. Well, I found my son Sam, but where's Samantha? Whoops, sorry. Here, take an invite to my party. I'm calling it Samantha Stevens Halloween Bash. I hope you can come. Oh, I'll be there. Sweet. Susan, I really don't know about this costume. It's a little bit scandalous. So it's, you got bigger problems. This party is gonna be at your ex-husband's and you met him in high school, so he's gonna recognize you looking like this. What am I gonna do? Gosh, I mean, you probably should wear a mask. Susan, I am not covering up this youthful face of mine. I will just have to take my chances. I cannot believe my ex-husband is letting Samantha throw a party. Hey, girly, you're early. What's your name again? I'm Christina. Well, thanks for coming. I'm Samantha. Hey, do you want to dance? No, I'm not really much of a- Come on. Woo! <laughs> Samantha, wow, you seem so happy. Well, when I'm at my dad's, I am. Hey. Oh, Christina, this is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah, this is Dean. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh, baby. Sure is. I'll go get you a drink, Dean. Be right back. So, you and Samantha, you're, you're a thing? Yeah, more like something casual, you know. I just gotta say that dress looks really good on you. Are you sure this is what the kids are wearing these days? Yeah, my daughter wears this stuff all the time. Also, you're gonna need some fake identification for the school records, but don't worry, I got you covered. You know how to do that. Yeah, I can make you a fake ID. Now come on. So you'll pretend to be my mom, and then you'll drop me off like it's a normal school day? And then you're gonna make your way into your kids' classrooms and spy on them. Exactly. You know what, Susan? This is gonna be great. My kids are always nagging, saying how hard high school is, and I'm just gonna be here to prove that it's not that bad. Maybe you'll even learn something. Susan, please. The only thing that I'm gonna be learning is all the secrets that my kids will never tell me. So when they get back from their fathers, I'll have enough dirt to ground them for a whole month. Okay, Toots, we're at the high school. Now come here, listen to me. You better not embarrass yourself. I'm serious. I'll be back to pick you up at three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, please meet our new student, Christina. There's my son. Can I sit next to that boy over there? Does someone have a little crush? Oh, no, no, God, no. I just thought that he seemed really nice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. You're slouching a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, I also brought you some snacks. What? How the hell do you know my name? This is kid life versus adult life. Kid. Oh, I guess I must have fallen asleep watching Spongebob. Oh well. Mom, what's for breakfast? Adult. <laughs> oh, oh, my back. I fell asleep watching Criminal Minds again. Oh, and I slept in my makeup. I'm gonna break out tomorrow. And I forgot to buy groceries. <laughs> Kid. What time is it? Oh, it's already midnight. No wonder I'm so sleepy. Adult. <sighs> Bruh, what time is it? Dang, it's only midnight? Okay, next episode. Kid. Mommy, don't get mad, I have to tell you something. Lily peed on the carpet in my room. What? You might want to go clean that up now. Adult. Why would you pee on the carpet? Do you know how much my landlord is going to charge me for that? But you're still so stinking cute, I can't be mad at you. No, I can't. No, I can't. Please, don't be anything too bad. That's an embarrassing curse. Don't you hate singing? Stop! <laughs> Don't talk to me. Loser, lame old wannabe. What the? <laughs> wow, sissy, I feel sorry for you. Uh. Hey, girly, I'm new to this school. Just wanted to introduce myself. But I heard about your curse. I'm so sorry. I've got a bad feeling about you. What the actual freak was that? <laughs> <laughs> Remind me not to sit next to her at lunch. So, are you down to be official? Like, boyfriend and girlfriend? I think I like this little life. What the heck? You just ruined the moment. This was serious. I'm out of here. 
baby, come back. Aw, look, it's the girl who got cursed to sing. Why you gotta be so rude? Maybe try some auto-tune. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hard knock life. Hi, Chloe. I mean, oh my god. Uh, what's it? Claire. Hi, Claire. Say my name, say my name. Sorry, honey, my mind is everywhere, but you're about to get a new curse. I hope you can stop singing. Don't bring me down. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Let's see how many brain cells you get, princess. Oh my. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Two identical twins will never have the same fingerprint. You're five, how do you know that? Well, my queen, she, she what? How is she so smart? That's because I have more brain cells than the average human. She has more brain cells than me. This can't be. Your body language and tone of voice indicates that you're coming up with an evil plan. Stepdaughter, don't be silly. <laughs> For the last time, it's not poisoned. Well, your body language does show that you're not lying, so... Okay, stepmother, I'll try some. <gasps> yes, my potion worked. I said it wouldn't poison you, but I never said anything about it making you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I go potty now. Wait, no, no, no. <gasps> Oh! Oh! My new shoes! That's it, princess. Just have your special drink. <laughs> princess, hey, I'm, uh, I'm Prince Derek, and I was wondering if you'd want to go on a date with me. I know you don't have a lot of brain cells, but... Ow. Hey, are you good? Help. What's going on? My brain, it's... The potion is wearing off. Excuse us, Prince Derek. It's the princess's nap time. We were just talking, Jack. It's Mr. Frost to you, and I know flirting when I see it. No son of mine will be with a Kringle. Stop! That isn't fair. Ow! Dad, let go! No, son. We're leaving. And he's never going to see you again. It's okay, Holly. Just go! Mom, Dad, why are you guys looking at me like that? Because, for the first time in 18 years... You, Holly, are on the naughty list. Okay, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who I got as a soulmate. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. What? <gasps> what? His whole family is cold-hearted. But Jared is different. Ho oh, oh. ho. Frosts are nothing but bad news. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. That's right. You heard your mother. Go to your room. I have to save Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Holly, I could help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Actually, I could use your help. Sweet, because I've already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. You have? I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story, plus <laughs> I totally ship you guys. Winky. Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which has already been completed. But they never take afternoon naps. Well, let's just say I gave them some special milk and cookies. <gasps> Winky! Sorry, it was the only way, but come with me. I think Jared's in danger. This is the house, and I overheard Jack telling Jared he's gonna lock him in the basement. Okay, you distract Jack, and I'll go save Jared. Deal. You can watch the full ending on my YouTube channel now. Hey, I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. Ho, ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know. Who your soulmate is the son of? Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? Holly! Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. That's not comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait. I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. You alright? Mm-hmm. I'm probably gonna end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is gonna be so disappointed in me. Well, 
I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Want to see something cool? Sure. <clears throat> it's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing, Dad? I'm a POV actor. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. Princess. Oh no, she gave you the potion. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. Oh, princess. No, she gave you the potion. I'm a POV actor. Happy birthday, princess. Happy birthday, princess. I'm a POV actor. Why, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Why, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. I'm a POV actor. John always looks nice. You're looking... nice. Uh, thanks. John always looks nice. I'm a POV actor. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. I'm a POV actor. Um, where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is gonna be. Don't be. You're Santa's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy son because he's super cute. <gasps> who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye! Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Oh, shoot. I forgot my jacket. <sighs> are we gonna have to go all the way back? No, no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm really fine. <sighs> yeah, it's actually not even that cold, guys. Like, it's not even that bad. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna look around and see if we can find a place to warm up. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Brenna, I found some blankets. Brenna? I'm fine. Get a giant teddy bear or become an adult? What kind of options are these? I'm gonna have to go with... Honey, don't pick your wish until I get back from vacation. Fine. Bye, Mom. Bye, and while I'm gone, your big sister's in charge. Yes. Thanks, Mom. I promise I'll take great care of her. <laughs> Let me see that. Hey! Uh, Sorry, but I'm not having you turn into one of those iPad kids. No more iPad for you. No, sissy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> She's so mean. Hmm. If I can be older than sissy, then I can boss her around. What the heck? Nothing even happened to me. Oh, I feel sleepy. Oh, that was a really long nap. My voice, it sounds different. <gasps> it worked! All right, if you want your iPad back... <gasps> Who are you and what did you do with my little sister? Sissy, no, listen, it's me. Yeah, right, you creep. Where is she? Please, put those scissors down, you're scaring me. Tell me something only my sister would know. Um, darling, please let us see your mark. Oh, she has a diamond. Honey, we're billionaires. If she didn't, someone would be losing their head. Dad. It's just an expression, dear. Now I will show you this chart and your father will explain. This is our money status. The diamond gem means, you know, we're rich. The middle class is red gem. You could talk to them, but really, don't make friends with them. And the green gem is poor. Don't you ever talk to these people. They're a big no from me. I can't wait for you to show all your friends how rich you are when you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight. 
Nobody needs to know how rich I am. Guys, please, I was just gonna grab a couple appetizers and then I'll be out of here. Sorry, did you not read the sign? No green marks allowed to my party. That was brutal. Excuse me. I'll get us food, Mom. I'm gonna paint my mark red so I could sneak back into the party. Mom, let me call you back. Hey, you, freeze. Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm not gonna tell on you. Yeah, right. You know what? Your mark looks fake, too. Here, wipe it off. Let's see if you're the real deal. Do it. Okay, okay. What the? You're a diamond mark? I want to help you. You... you do? Hurry up and drink the potion. <clears throat> I mean, drink your drink. There you go, it's going to make you feel so much better. Yes, she's back to being dumb. <laughs> sleep, sleep, dream, dream, eat, eat, barf. Your Majesty, the people of the kingdom are concerned about the princess. Oh, really? They think she's unfit to be queen with such little brain cells. Well, I must say I agree. Potato. She could never be queen. <laughs> Dingly dangly. How could she have lost almost all her brain cells? Life is full of mysteries. Now follow me, we have important business to attend to. Princess. Huh. I know I'm kind of breaking in, but don't be scared. Huh? I climbed all the way up here because I want to help you. No one deserves to have such little brain cells. Earlier, it seemed like you were trying to tell me something. Handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, please stop, that tickles. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I'm gonna try and find you a potion that can make you smarter. Okay, so I'm gonna climb back down your tower now. And he was a fairy. Wait, what? No, no, no! Uh, uh, uh. I know how to save him. Guards, I need the royal medical kit and gloves right now. Yes, princess, as, as you, you wish. wish. Derek, hey, I'm gonna need to give you some stitches, okay? So, please, just close your eyes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass out instead. Or that works too. Okay, it's done. The medic will take him from here. You did great. I hope so. Good news, princess. Prince Derek is recovering. He's going to be alright. But his father from the rival kingdom is here and he wants to speak with you. Send him in. Hello, your majesty. You! Your stepmother kidnapped my son! And you! You saved his life. And for that, I am forever grateful. Oh, well... It was the least I could do. Oh, don't be so humble. I see you're going to become queen soon. Wouldn't you want a king to be by your side? <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure to keep my son in mind. You two could have some very smart children. Uh, excuse me, princess. The prince requested to see you. Uh, oh, hey. Well, if it isn't the smartest girl I know. Look, I wanted to say thank you for saving my life. I had no idea you had so many brain cells. Part of me kind of misses you being dumb. Excuse me? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. It's just you said some funny things, like me having muscular riz. Stop. <laughs> I mean, I must say, you do have some pretty big muscles. Ugh. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's worth the pain. You know, your father was saying he thinks that we should get married. Really? Well, you're the smart one. What do you think? I think it sounds like a pretty good idea. As long as you're comfortable with it, you know, um, I'm not trying to rush things. It's just... Whoa, hey. I'll tell you what, as soon as I'm able to, I'll be down on one knee for you. Drink it or the prince dies. Good girl. Wait a minute, you little fake! Drink it for real! I can see your brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. After all these years, the potion is starting to lose its power. It's wearing off much too quickly and we can't have that happening, so I'm going to have to, um... Get rid of you. Me go bye-bye? Yes, I can't have you becoming queen. No, no, don't cry. Here, take this. Ah. Can't have you alerting the gods now. Soft, soft. You're going to be an easy kill. Come here. Don't leave this room. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to think of a way to make the prince and your death look like an accident. Hello. Me? See cute, cute prince? Princess, you're not supposed to be down here. And the prince isn't allowed any visitors, but... But go ahead. Just be real quick, because the queen doesn't want you seeing him in the dungeon. Sublime. Uh, you're welcome. The queen wants me dead, 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 and she's gonna have your head. <gasps> Princess! No, she gave you the potion. Hey, princey, look. Dingly dingly. The key? Where did you get that? Me see big guard sleeping and shiny thing. So me takey. <laughs> okay, well hurry, unlock my cell door and then... Sorry. Use shiny thing to free Prince. Oh! <laughs> Good. Now throw me the key so I can unlock these chains. KK. Hey, you two aren't allowed to be... <sighs> Sorry, what was that? Couldn't quite hear you. Muscular Riz. Me likey. Come on, we have to get to... <sighs> Princess! Brain cells, all of them. 
coming back fast. Hey, you got this. The faster your brain cells come back, the faster you can outsmart the queen, all right? Oh, no, outsmart me. I don't think so. Stop, you can't do this. It's against... I don't understand. I'm the princess. You're not supposed to be doing this. Why are you guys listening to her? They're under an obedience spell, dear. They'll do whatever I say. Surprised you didn't figure that out with all those brain cells of yours. Here, drink this. And this time, it's not a potion. And this time, it's not a potion. You poisoned this? So what makes you think that I'm gonna drink it? I'm willing to trade you, your life, <sighs> for his. You made me dumb my whole life, you know that? Years of my life that I will never get back. Oh, please, you were on cloud nine. You know what they say, ignorance is bliss. I was doing you a favor, but to show you that I mean business. <sighs> no, Derek. You know how you can save him, dear. You are a monster. People do crazy things to remain in power. So what do you say? Deal. No. That a girl. Just one sip is all it will take. <laughs> oh, this is so sad to watch. Now open up your cup so I can see. I only put a little bit in there, so let me see the bottom. <laughs> Looks like I finally outsmarted you. <sighs> uh, what the heck is going on? The queen had you under a spell. She was abusing her power. Please, set us free. <sighs> the princess lost a lot of blood, but the medic might not get here in time. I could save him if I just had a few more brain cells. Come on, please. Why would you want to help me? I literally held a gun to you. Well, first of all, I can tell that's a Nerf gun spray painted black. Ugh, dang it. Wait, how did you know that? It says Nerf or nothing on the side. Also, I overheard you talking to your mom about you needing food. Is that true? Yeah, that's the whole reason I came to this party. We kind of ran out of food yesterday. I'm so sorry. No one deserves to go hungry, especially not on New Year's Eve. Come with me. I'm going to take you to my house. We're going to your place? Yes, we have tons of food and... Oh, but your mark. Huh? Okay, I originally brought this as body shimmer for the New Year's Eve party, but we're going to use it to make your mark look like my mark. Uh-huh. Just stay still for me. Why? Why are we doing this exactly? Well, technically, I'm not allowed to talk to green marks. Seriously? Wow. Hey, it's my parents' rule, not mine. The mark actually looks pretty real. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for the food. Oh, it's no trouble, really. And since you said you needed money for you and your mom, I'm going to give you one of my Christmas presents that I'm really not going to use. It's a brand new MacBook Pro. I already have like three of them. Thanks, but I don't have a home, so I don't have Wi-Fi. I wish I could let you and your mom stay here in this mansion. Nah, it's cool. Oh. What? Your mark is kind of smearing. I can see the green. Oh, shoot. Darling. Honey, where are you? Go hide in my closet right now. Wrong answer. Oh, Dad, don't! Please, please wait. You must learn, son, to never put a woman first in your relationship. What the? Real interesting philosophy you have about relationships. It's no wonder ours ended in divorce. Mom, what the hell do you think you're doing? Banning something that should actually be illegal. Goodbye, goon number one, and goodbye, goon number two. That's for taking my son away from me. Mom, you, you just killed Dad. I know, honey. It had to be done. Hey, sweetheart, open your eyes. We have to get out of here. Come on, you can trust me. Oh, thanks. This way. Where are we? The room with the deactivation button. What? Well, what are you waiting for? Press it! No, whoever presses the button dies. Mom, I'll press it. Jake, no, please. The system has to be stopped. You're right, but not by you. No, no. Mom! I love you. Oh. Mom? No, Mom. <laughs> The sister down. She saved everyone. My parents, they're... they're both gone. Jake, I'm so sorry. <sighs> promise... promise you won't ever leave me. Jake, I promise. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, she... she would have wanted us to be happy. We have to run. <laughs> <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, are you okay? Yeah. From now on, we're gonna stick together, right? Always. I'm so glad I have you. Me too. There's something I've been meaning to do. I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really gonna get to know you now. Oh. I'm not taking this off. Help me hide, come on. Please, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wear a- This way, let's go. I know you're freaking out, but I have an idea. We cut your dress in half. What? It'll be a two-piece. Jake, that's actually a great idea. Right? <laughs> okay, hand me the scissors. I don't know, your hands are kind of shaky, so... Jake, I'm fine. Just hand me the scissors. Uh, I feel like I should do it, to be honest. Jake! I'm kidding. Chill. Here, take the... I'm safe! 
<sighs> but I'm not. Can you close your eyes, maybe? Please tell me you're wearing boxers. I mean, yeah, but still, just close your eyes, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you keeping your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. <laughs> they better unban pants soon. What? What are you laughing at? No, it's just, um... Why do your boxers say Merry Rismus? Hey! Sorry, I might have looked just for a second. Ugh, they were a gift. Stop, stop looking. Please tell me I can open my eyes now. Uh, you might not want to. Why? Well, because... That's why. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. My dad's in charge of this system. How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it's addressed? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe- This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me! Ma'am. You do realize dogs are banned. Of course, but fortunately for Billy, he's not a dog. Uh-huh, nice try. Hand over the dog or else... Damn it. Yes! So glad dogs aren't banned anymore. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I'm glad yours didn't get taken. Hey, I like your notebook. Thanks, I got it from the Brianna Missouri merch store. Oh, cool. <gasps> Someone is seriously out to get me. Oh, gosh, why does it smell so bad in here? Sorry, did you see what they banned this morning? I mean, come on. They banned deodorant, not showers. If I don't have deodorant, then I don't shower. Hey, since boyfriends are unbanned, do you want to get back together with me? I kind of want to get to know you more. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Sweet, and here comes another banned item. <laughs> wow, they just banned dresses. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really going to get to know you now. I oh! am not taking this off. Help me hide, come on. Please, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wear a- This way, let's- Looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me! Sit in the elimination chair, and don't let go of him. Yes, ma'am. Elimination chair? Jake, what is she talking about? I won't let them do anything to you. We shall see about that, son. Dad, let her go. She didn't break the law. Her necklace got stuck. Lies. She was just testing you. Is that true? I... She never tried to unlock her necklace. I have the camera footage to prove it. She was probably just trying to see if I was going to stand up for her. And you know what? I don't blame her for not trusting me when I have a father like you. Well, let's see how much you truly care about her. Oops. Now it looks like you both are breaking the law. I'll let you choose one person to live. It's okay. Just choose to save yourself. No, Dad. I'm not gonna make that choice. Just end the system. You know I can't do that. Then go ahead and end me. Wrong answer. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. <laughs> I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. Sarah, please don't hide. We know you saw the Amber Alert, but we can explain. Tabitha? She's calling me. She's trying to trick you. I told you, she's not your real mom. I think they're gone. Are you gonna call the police? My phone died. <gasps> Shh, Thomas, stop crying. <laughs> Found you. Don't be scared, just because the kids are stolen. It doesn't mean we don't love them. No, you leave the children alone. Yeah, oh. Tabitha. <sighs> what a shame, you're just like our last babysitter. What did you do to her? The blood in the attic. That was hers, and now you're- oh, oh. Surprise! I'm still alive. Susie! I'm okay. Just call the police, go get help. Come on, Tabitha, let's go. Thank you for finding my daughter. And thank you for finding my son. You should really thank the other babysitter. She- she was the real hero. It was both of you. You both are responsible for reuniting two children back with their families. 
I'm glad everyone's okay. Me too. Tabitha wanted to know if you would still want to be her babysitter? Yeah, please. I'm gonna have to go with... Yes. <gasps> Yay! Oh no, it's gonna start a fire. How do I put out a fire? Um, maybe I can use this to cover up the smoke? <laughs> I'm... <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Did you start a fire? I didn't mean to. I was trying to cook breakfast. Oh my gosh, okay. Hold on, I gotta get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. Please, worker mom's gonna kill us. The fire's out. Come here. That was a lot of smoke. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, sissy, I'm fine. Thank you for saving me. If you didn't come when you did, the whole place probably would have burnt down. And I'm sorry for what I said. You really do take care of me. Sometimes even more than mom. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be grown up anymore. But now I'm going to be stuck like this forever. No, Sadie, don't cry. I got a third option for my Christmas wish when I was out. I can now wish to turn you back into a kid. You would use up your Christmas wish on me? Yeah, I would because... Nobody deserves to grow up that fast. You ready? Okay. Did it work? <gasps> My voice is back on me again! Yay! I love you, sissy. I love you too, Sadie. I missed you being little. Give me a hug. Wanna just tell mom we both wish to be nicer to each other? <laughs> Tell me something only my sister would know. Oh, when I was three, I flushed your goldfish down the toilet because I thought I was saving its life. There's no way you could have known about that unless... Sadie? Duh, who else would it be? Why do you look like this? You look like a younger version of mom. Well, I kind of sort of used my Christmas wish. You wish to become an adult? Sadie! This is all your fault, really, because you're the one that locked me in my room and took away my iPad. So now that I'm an adult, I order you to give it back to me. <laughs> just because you look like an adult doesn't mean I'm treating you like one. Okay, fine. Then I'll just go to the store and buy one myself, because I found a driver's license and a credit card in my pocket. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Try me. Sadie, wait! Oh, I cannot believe I'm letting you drive me right now. I told you, I've done so many car simulation games that I'm practically a pro at driving at this point. There's a tumbleweed! <laughs> We are going in and out of this- Hey, beautiful. Store. Is there any chance I could get your number? No, sir. She is eight years old. <laughs> Funny. The answer is no. L let's go. You're not getting that. You're getting age-appropriate clothes. No, I like my clothes and I want this. Sadie, don't you dare start cry- <laughs> Oh my god, is she okay? Do I need to call the police? <laughs> no, ma'am. <sighs> good morning, sissy. No, Sadie. It is not a good morning. I cannot believe you suckered me into letting you buy that. Well, if you didn't, they were gonna call the cops since I was crying so much. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute. Your hair looks different. Did you get it done? Do you like it? Yeah, it looks great, except for the fact that you snuck out without telling me. I don't have to tell you anything because I'm an adult now. You need to take back your wish. No, I like being grown up. Sadie, you don't get what it's actually like to be grown up. You don't see how much I've been taking care of you. I can take care of myself. Oh, yeah? You know what? I'm leaving. Sissy... No, you should see what it's really like to be an adult. How hard could cooking breakfast actually be? I can make mac and cheese in a pan, right? I'll just let it boil on high for one hour. Ooh, that must be my delivery. This giant dollhouse better be easy to assemble. Why is this instruction manual so confusing? And now my eyesight isn't as good as it was before. <gasps> my mac and cheese! <laughs> Go on, get in my closet. Wait, how long am I gonna have to be in here? I don't know, but they can't see you with a green mark. But- I'm sorry, just- Shh. Oh, there you are, darling. We were looking for you. Your mom and I are leaving for a business trip for a month. You are? I mean, you are? Yeah, but before we go, let's refresh what I told you about the marks, okay? Oh, no, guys, I really don't need to- Ah! Take the chart, and remember what did your father tell you? Now, do red marks make good friends? No. That's right. And what did I say about green marks? Don't talk or make friends with them. You know these rules are ridiculous, right? I mean, did you guys ever think that maybe we should help others that are less fortunate? I mean, maybe every once in a while we could help the green marks out with some food, or maybe even some shelter? Don't be ridiculous. Do you understand how hard we work to get where we are today? We're not gonna waste it on those green marks. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if she's truly our daughter. Hey, after that, I think it's probably best I go. No, wait. I want to help you guys. My parents will never know. Thanks again for letting my mom and I stay here. We really appreciate it. You're such a beautiful, kind young girl.
I wish my mom was like you. I'm sure she loves you very- Well, well, what do we have mom, here? Mom, Dad, you guys weren't supposed to be back until- Tomorrow, yeah, we got back early. I want these green marks out of my house right now. No, if they leave, then I leave too, because they're good people, and they have nowhere else to go. Them being poor is not our problem, and you're not going to leave. I will. I'll take what's mine and I'll leave. Huh. What's yours? You own nothing. If you leave, your mark will turn green and you'll become poor. Then so be it. You know, there's more to life than just being rich or poor. At the end of the day, it's what makes you happy, and it's about helping others. And you guys were hardly ever here for me anyways. And when you were, I wish that you weren't. Oh, honey. Just stop, because these people have been nicer to me in the one month that they've been here than you guys have ever been. And I realize it's better to be poor and happy than to be rich and miserable. Come on, guys. Let's go. We didn't mean to make you give up your mark. You don't deserve to be out here in the rain. We're sorry. Don't be. I've been wanting to tell them that for a while anyways. It's not even that bad out here. It's just a little rain. And a lot of thunder. Darling, are you out here? Mom? Dad? Oh, honey, there you are. Come on, all of you. Come in the car. Please hurry. I think we're good. Darling, please, what you said about the money, you're right. We should help others, and we're gonna be different from now on. Do you promise? We promise, and we have more than enough room for your friends in our mansion. Are you guys okay with going back to live with me and my parents? If you're okay with it, then we're okay with it. Exactly. We did enjoy living there after all. If they make any weird moves, we can get out of there. Yeah, gotcha. But right now, what I think we all should do is get out of this rain. Agreed. 